Hello, I hope you're well. I hope you had a, uh, you've had a lovely week. So we are leaving Upwell. We're still on the middle levels and um, it's really exciting. I'm, I'm just loving it. We've had a big storm, which is why we've stayed in Upwell for most of the week. Um, but I did say that I'll talk to you about actually getting onto the middle levels and stand ground lock. So let me talk to you about that first. So here we are approaching stand ground lock and this is the lock that takes you onto the middle level navigation. Now you have to book this lock 24 hours in advance and the lock keeper is Tina. Uh, she was brilliant, she was really helpful. So from Tina we bought two essential items that you need on the middle level navigation and um, she also gave us another little gift. The windlass, which looks like that. It's quite long windlass as well. And that's £12. You have the gold key. Get some notes all about um, the locks and the system. So then we had to do a bit of a crazy turn um, into Stand Ground Lock and it was very windy okay. which explains that bump and that bump now in terms of a license we currently have a gold license which will enable us to go on the middle level navigation until the end of this year but following on from that you will have to buy a separate license for this set of navigation you get a lovely send off from the stand ground lock cat. Now our plans are to head towards Cambridge first, stopping at some places along the way, and then spend the summer taking slow journey to explore the entire network and all of its tributaries, the River Little Ooze, the River Great Ooze, and just spending a lot of time here and getting to know it. So I hope you'll join us on that. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just trying to change the direction every time you come back to me, just so you can see another angle of the amazing middle levels. Um, so we went through Stand Ground Lock and then we cruised towards March and we stayed at March for the first part of the bank holiday weekend and when I got to March we met the Emden, I think they're called, Emden White Geese and there's a story I want to share with you about those geese, it's just fascinating.
so here is an Emden goose and they originate from Germany but this flock have decided to congregate and live in March and I think they must have moved in in 2013 because I was reading a newspaper article about how they were causing a lot of trouble back then attacking dogs attacking children and local residents were really worried but they thought the swans who were living there at the time would get rid of the geese well, look, several years later, the geese are here and there's no sign of nesting swans on the bank. But I thought they were rather charming. The only thing causing problems now for them are the rats, and here's one here, because they're very hungry, these rats, for the eggs that are in the nest of these geese. Um, but when they approach the geese, the geese let them know that the eggs are not for sale. but also in March. <laughs> and a pair of collared doves with an interesting nest. Now it's that time for you to sit back, relax and enjoy some mindful moments of the middle level navigation. I really hope you're looking after yourself and please come and join me next week. The instructions are as if we have to find Sheena. Sheena is the gardener. Should we go and find Sheena? So until then, take care.
In March, where many a goose is likely to give you abuse, watch out as you moor, for they'll give you what for, and bite off the things that hang loose. Beautiful March of the Fens, where the folk all call you their friends. You can sit there pubside, where the mid-levels glide. What a wonderful time you can spend. Unless, of course, you're a rat, then you'll have to forget about that. For the goose on the nest, she calls you a pest. Go near, you'll get more than back chat.